Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Decluttered, the Candid Traders podcast. Today, we are super duper excited to have one of the most popular and well-known traders in the Indian market, uh, Mr. Jagan with us. He has had truly an inspirational journey. I um, heard him say in one of his talks that, you know, when he was young, when he was a little boy, his dream was that he should someday complete 10th standard. So he comes from a very, very modest background and is truly one of those exemplary people who show that, you know, you with enough work, you can get uh, anywhere. And uh, really, really, this is going to be a hell of an interaction and all of the viewers are going to have lots to learn and take away. So I am super happy. Thank you so much, Jagan, sir. And uh, yeah, Prof, a lot of fun this is going to be. Absolutely, Shreyas. I mean, uh, Jagan sir is one of those guys who popularized this 920 straddle, right? Now everyone talks <laughs> about this 920 straddle, but Jagan sir was one of those first people who made this 920 straddle mainstream. I still remember one of Jagan sir videos where he was talking at the Traders Carnival. I think there are not many videos in the trading domain which got more than 1 million hits. I think that is oh. one of the very few videos which had got 1 million plus views. I think it was so, 5 and, million. Uh, Jagan, 5 million. Oh man. And uh, Jagan sir, I'm sure that your journey is nothing short of an inspiration. And uh, right now you're handling a client's worth around 40 crores, which is not at all a joke. And I'm sure this podcast will be full of educational content and we get to learn a lot from you. And we are expecting uh, a one hell of a podcast. This is going to turn out. And thanks a lot for taking your time for doing this. Welcome back. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to share. Yeah. So uh, I want to get straight to the meat here, really. And, uh, you know, as much as possible, I want to ensure that, you know, Jagan said you have the freedom to go into whatever topic, because that is the format we follow. It is like a normal conversation. And um, you have gone from someone who started as a positional trader to someone who then became very data driven, completely data oriented, backtest oriented. Um, you, you tested out uh, in our conversation before uh, all the kinds of possible systems that one can think of. And finally, you arrived that, you know, that you only have two systems, which is one is your trend following system and the other is your intraday system. So I just want to understand what was that process of transformation from the period when you started uh, to what kind of trading you did, how you transitioned. Today, what is your opinion on what strategies are uh, uh, you know, most apt utilization of your uh, margin. So I want to just understand your entire process. Sir. Okay. So when I uh, started trying, so uh, most of the people know that actually from the day one, I started selling options uh, just because I'm coming from a different school of thought and what big boys are doing, that's what I was planning to do. So during that time, uh, seriously, I don't know any strategy about option selling. The only part I know is uh, wherever Nifty is, 500 points or 400 points away from it, go and sell the card and put and you make money. And uh, even Fool can make money in 2014 and 15 because market was not that volatile. So make money, uh, sell options, make money, make money, make money. And during that period, right, so I started learning a lot of strategies. So uh, calendar, butterfly, all these things. But in 2018, I started realizing that uh, we should do only this different strategy. The reason was budget. In 2018, I still remember the day. And next day to the budget, I was really bearish. The market was actually next day gap down. But I was I was really upset because I sold only call. I was making profit. That's a different thought process. But the part is actually, what if you might be went wrong? So I thought that actually I'll do only the risk defense strategy. So till 2018, uh, my bread and butter was positional trade and expiry trading. And 2018, I started realizing that this expiry trading, I cannot leverage for 100 CR because 100 CR take, and if I take 10 times leverage, it is going to be uh, 1000 CR and executing 1000 CR in expiry trading and then trying to make money. It, it may be possible, but if there is a stop loss jump, if there is some problem with exchange, some problem with the broker, then you may get wiped out. So any system will have a boundary. So otherwise, actually, Mukesh Ampani will do only options. He will not do any other business either. So any, it could be technical analysis, it could be option buying, option selling, could be mean reverse and not pullback. Any system will have a boundaries. So with the volume, when I say boundaries, it's a volume and time. So in 2018, I started reducing my expiry trading. I started shifting to the risk defense strategy. 
you will not believe me and when i found expiry trading in 2016 okay the next year exchange introduced weekly expiry i was lucky when i, I it was coincidence okay so i was really lucky I, okay, so when i thought that i'm going to stop expiry trading where exactly they stopped the weekly expiry. okay but it was it was totally coincidence okay and then then i thought in 2000 after 2018 i came to know that jagan rather than selling options for penny uh, rupees premium okay very very chota premium okay going for what i am selling options you can come some somewhat closer and then reduce the exposure and then make money so that's where actually i started thinking differently because in 2018 i was using only four times leverage so my strategy was changing for every six months okay this year also i am changing my strategy little bit so in 2018 i started reducing my exposure i was coming closer so before 2018 it is far for otm as much as as possible 1 rupee 2 rupee 3 rupee sell option get 15 times exposure sell collect it manage your poison 2% portfolio stop loss and make profit and to be very honest you super duper skill to make profit in expiry trading for getting 15 times exposure and then selling option the only problem is you need to have a portfolio stop loss that many people don't follow so you can take 100 times leverage you can take 1000 times leverage but the profit and risk should be based on your capital not based on your leverage absolutely so my risk management is always based on the capital so i don't look actually how much leverage i can take so right now then i started realizing jagan you look at you put into one situation where you cannot take leverage but still you are making profit how automatically my mind is coming closer to the uh, rather than doing a, a far what in short strangle i was doing a close to short strangle i was able to make the same return then there was no exposure <laughs> then what what is the option you need to come to the closest one so that is nothing but short strangle so that's where i landed into 920 stand so do a 920 stand i am getting the same return what i was getting to 15 times exposure okay so my in a way actually i would say that actually sebi only pushed me to this 920 stand so sebi cut the exposure and cut the exposure i was selling off for otm then come closer 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 now it is a short strategy we cannot go closer than this absolutely <laughs> with respect to the intraday this is the history okay till 2018 i was selling net option and i said actually before 2018 if someone is making profit in option selling i would say they should not raise the collar because market was not that volatile like we are seeing right now so is making profit by the time luckily or unlucky i'm not really sure okay so i shifted to risk defense strategy as soon as i shifted to risk defense strategy black swan even started corona fall and all this fall gap down big gap <laughs> so i would say if i would have come at 2018 may not i may not be in the market i would have sold some short strangle in 2018 i would have got trapped by this corona fall at all in corona fall i did not make any loss at all so i was doing only risk defense strategy and very honest i had seen this setback once i shifted to risk defense strategy because if you are making 100 rupees with the net risk only with the risk defense strategies it's very difficult to make 25 rupees because the dk what you are getting with the selling the say i'm um, almost 75% dk will be there with your hedging as well because risk defense strategy the selling option and buying options both will dk only that the dk difference is the profit and the dk okay. difference is not so high because the buying you are doing in the hedging will have a highest time decay speed okay so it was really really tough to make a profit with the risk defense strategy and then i thought that okay so being a mathematician let's do some so number analysis okay so uh, that's where i went to the point okay so then i started looking the premium so in what uh, premium we can sell in what premium we can buy which is uh, historically had given a profit then i started studying all these things right so so that's where i landed to one arbitrage strategy okay so kind of arbitrage strategy wherein i'll be selling options in stocks and i'll be buying uh, hedging in index so this i name it as a in stock because stocks plus index so i'll be selling options in stocks and i'll be buying options in index so that risk defense strategy was giving 3% per month consistently so i was looking for opportunity so this is based on opportunity whenever there is a opportunity you are going to enter because this is not a purely speculation this is not purely hedging it comes under arbitrage 
arbitrage you should do only when there is opportunity right so i was able to enter the strategies and was able to make a profit but in back of my mind i had a thought what is the thought process i had i was selling options in stocks and options in index and bank nifty is a option i am buying okay that is in monthly then i thought jagan why don't you do this 920 straddles because you have buy options in this uh, monthly options okay so it is wasted okay so when you sell options the margin is going to be less when you do the 920 straddle the margin is going to be less because you have a buy options in in stock okay that is for exchange it is neck for the exchange shake actually it is neck but it is not neck because the hedging what i bought is for the stock option selling but exchange will not understand exchange will understand if you are selling options in bank nifty and buying options in bank nifty it is hedge so if you are selling options in uh, hdfc bank and buying options in uh, bank nifty it is not a hedging according to the exchange but it is a hedging call correct so so what i thought again let's do this 920 status let's study this okay because the margin is going to be very less and uh, you have a buy options you can make use of it that's where i landed in 920 option when i landed in 920 option and did all the quants i came to know that 90 80% of the trading system is not performing better than 920 step, to be very honest okay and you take any trend following system you take any mean reverse you take any orb and most of the people they are trying to get close to 500 rupees or 600 rupees per lot per day per trade okay though they are getting this profit this not possible every day or this is not possible every time but with 920 strategies you are getting the opportunities every day so then i thought that jagan rather than finding something very complicated when you have some something very simple why don't you follow it okay. so that's where i landed to 920 strategies so once i landed to 920 strategies so for the capital what i have definitely i can't enter at 920 so 920 is a model it is not a exact time so you are going to enter at multiple time with the multiple stop loss with the multiple system so different different thing so i started writing algo for everything so i this uh, did a complete back testing so this is how my journey of positional and intraday trade wonderful beautiful um, i have one question here um, is yeah. uh, so when you said it's better than a lot of other strategies you tested can you cover some of what are those other strategies you tested and also and this is going to be a question that i i'm sure you get very often i want to know your answer to it um if everyone like a lot of people today are doing 920 strategy right so a lot of traders i know i have different variations of it but essentially the same thing to take a, a you know short volatility spread how come it still works like even if you go by back test it works um and if you see that the generally they say when the entire market is doing something that time that particular system loses its edge or stops working well, why do you think 920 straddle still continues to be profitable uh, quarter on quarter and you know uh, do, you, do you have uh, some theory around that to be very honest 920 straddle is actually is not a, a non directional uh, strategy it is a directional strategy if you put a small stop loss there okay, so. so the the advantage of 920 straddle i tell you what because you are looking for a break out and then you are taking a trade and when you do a regular trend following right so when you test a regular trend of trend following you are looking for some double top and then you are looking for the uh, break out most of the time it breaks and then it goes down and then it touches the uh, the, uh, the downside one or else it go it breaks down and then it breaks up all these problems you will get out actually in the 920 straddle because you are looking for only the premium break out So that is the actual uh, logic in a 920 strategy. Why many people are not able to oh, still why this 920 strategy is able to work for a longer period of time? There are two reasons. Number one reason, uh, the 920 strategy by default it has a time decay edge, little edge. It's not a high edge. It is having little edge. That is number one. And most return following system doesn't have this uh, time decay edge. If you are looking for a breakout. if you are right you are going to make profit if you are wrong you are going to get a loss but here if you are wrong you are going to get chota time ticket difference okay the loss may not be equal to the trend following system number one number two uh, any trend following any trading system will have a drawdown okay so this 920 strategy had a big problem in september november october and all it has double set hit for many times 
I think that was the time when a lot of these Twitter folks started criticizing this 920 straddle. They call it like, ha, huh, this is a very simple strategy and it stops working because everyone has started to do it. But surprisingly, again from November, it again started picking up and December, January, it has done fantastically well, I believe. Yes, yes. In December, for me, it has given around 14% return. Uh-huh. One <laughs> <laughs> and before that, October was two percent, and for Jan, actually, I did some mistake. Otherwise, actually, it is it would have been more than four percent. Actually, it has given only one and a half percent, and this month it has given close to four percent. So you need to have a patience, all right? Any strategy in the holy grail is you need to have a patience. So we, see, all these problems are coming to the trader because they are not back tested. If you have back tested by your hands, by your eyes, you will get a conviction. Because in back testing, you will come to know the number of series of con- con- consecutive losses and how much loss it will come. Then you will understand that this is part and parcel of uh, business. Uh, someone is saying you are trying to execute, and if it fails immediately, then you lose the confidence. The 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 conviction will come in by two ways. Okay, number one, you should have a lot of profit. Okay, and yes, I almost made four crores profit in my career. Okay, so no. that conviction is one conviction. Okay, second conviction. If you are a new trader, if you are new to the markets and uh, with the lower capital, then you do the extensive backtesting. The more backtesting you do, the more conviction you get. Otherwise, it's very difficult to trade any any trading system, not only 920. 920 is al- almost having 65% success rate. If you are going for trend following, the success rate is only 33%. Then it is going to be disaster for you. If you are not able to do successful trading in 920, it is not possible to do any trading at all. The basic thing is a 920. <laughs> <laughs> because the success rate is very high. <laughs> totally, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh, there are many uh, traders I, I know uh, whose success uh, trading uh, success rate is less than 30%. In such a cases, you are going to get 20 continuous losses. So how are you going to uh, accept it? Right. So if you are not able to accept 920, you cannot do any trading system at all. So... A 920 is like a LKG. If you don't pass LKG, you can't go to investment. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are the realistic expectations? Sir? Like, um, for example, if somebody were to follow the 920 strategy model, ideally over a period of time, and when I say over a period of time, I'm talking about, let's say, uh, volatility will obviously change, uh, but over one, two, three years, what, what is realistic from this? A uh, realistic uh, would be uh, if you are uh, keeping less uh, volume on Monday and Tuesday, less volume. And if you are uh, making a uh, good volume on Wednesday and Thursday, and if you are not trading Friday, probably you will get 3% per month in the long run. Okay. So basically yeah. you are saying that um, you have to capitalize on the days where there is accelerated theta decay. Correct. Exactly right. Say for example, I can say numbers also. Um, for Monday and Tuesday, every four lakhs you can do one lakh. Okay, I'm saying very very defensive way because we are talking in social media, so we should not uh, <laughs> say big number at all. And then you are doing for every two lakhs, if you are doing only one lot on Wednesday and Thursday, in long run you are going to make three uh, percent per month. And the drawdown for your entire career is maybe ten percent, ten percent for the drawdown for the entire career. So, uh, what is the biggest drawdown that you have personally uh, taken? With respect to 920 straddle or before that? Uh, with respect to 920 straddle. Both. You can tell us about both. <laughs> okay. Then the, the biggest drawdown in my career is 8%. That happened in, uh, in only one day. Uh, that was, there was an NS and all stop losses are removed. And the market was cracking. So, my all of my stop losses are removed. And I'm trying to exit my position. I'm not able to exit. So that is the 8% drawdown uh, I had. And before that, and to the, before 2018, when I was doing a necklace selling, uh, demonetization, I think it is in 2016, where I had 5% loss. That is the maximum loss. So when I shifted to 920 standard, the highest drawdown I had uh, till now in the last uh, nine months is uh, 5%. Well, wow. and so far in this period, what has been the returns? A return is so far 53%. Wow. Wow. Excellent. Wow. Yeah. Jagan, sir, I have a question for you. 
so the thing is as you said that every 6 months you keep changing the strategy right depending upon the market conditions depending upon how the volatility in the market has changed and all that so do you necessarily change a strategy once it stops working or every 6 months you just go and you know experiment something new see like what's working in the market just to you know tweak something and make it better what's your approach yeah actually many people are thinking that actually i am changing my strategy based on the market or it stops working but it is not really so the reason why i am i am changing my strategy for two reasons the capital is increasing so i need to find out the right strategy for my capital when i said actually i had some arbitrage opportunity it is possible with 5 lakhs it is possible with 50 lakhs but it is not possible with 5 cr because we are selling options with the stocks so we cannot do 100 lots in a single second it is not possible at all then you will get a huge slippage so in recent times before that it was due to i mean whatever i was changing before 2019 it is mainly because i got better opportunity and whatever the strategy i had been doing before it still applicable that is the reason why whatever uh, the talk i had in traders carnival it is still applicable okay uh, but after 2020 my thought process uh, thought process is we need to find out the strategy according to the capital because my capital right now uh, the last time actually I, uh, my algo subscribed account total size is 40, 42 cr so each time actually i need to find out the different different strategy i cannot put the whole capital in single second it is not possible so unco- it should be uncorrelated so my thought process become like a uh, i mean the actual uh, hedge fund so we need to find out the strategy accordingly that is the reason why i am changing my strategies and some of the strategies the retail cannot uh, uh, execute some of the strategy i was doing 2 years 3 years before i cannot do because of the higher capital wonderful and uh, and jagan sir uh, let's say there are two reasons that a strategy might give a drawdown right so one is its inherent nature of giving you the drawdown and the nature of the market's getting changed so what is that tipping point what is the threshold up to which you'll just stick with the strategy and say that okay this is just the normal phase of the strategy where it's giving me drawdown and when will you decide that okay now the market dynamics is completely changing and i need to tweak something when is that when will you go with that um so for whatever the strategy i have back tested okay the historical drawdown i haven't touched it so there is no thought process that actually my strategy is not working so 920 straddle whatever i back tested the historical drawdown whatever i had seen i have in realistic so far there is a drawdown but it is less than the historical drawdown number one by any chance in the historical drawdown may be beat so it is possible historical may, uh, drawdown may come or it may go higher so my take is if it is higher than one and a half times then than the historical the peak drawdown then i will stop it yes. then i would say that actually uh, the, the right word is actually uh, if you are getting uh, more than one and a half times of historical drawdown then you may be breaking your boundaries Fair it means that trying to execute the strategy with 1000 cr it may not work very there true, is every single up boundary so you need to understand this boundaries yes absolutely sir i have a question here um now uh, you are a complete tech person you worked in the tech industry i believe uh, you know you, you were in the uh, us as well you were always in the whole software space right and uh, that's why you know you've had this advantage of unlike most people who are not very tech savvy i'm sure you can write up a code it is nothing for you to you know test something for example uh, you I, people can buy all the data they want uh, from the market tick by tick But they won't know how to use it unless they they have that ability and there are some uh, websites where you can go and test your strategy and all that but it's not as efficient as you actually um, you know doing it yourself setting your parameters so um, for people who don't have that tech savviness like for example you also for your trade execution uh, it's completely 100% automated if i'm not wrong that you know you have zero manual input you go you switch on the button it's um, and it's doing its thing right so is that absolutely necessary for like for example a retail trader who's watching does he have to have that kind of uh, uh, skill set if not what are some of the workarounds and how much do you think that whole side has played a role um, in in transitioning to this kind of a trading that you're doing um i would say for a retail people right so you don't need to code that is my uh, take uh, there are n number of software available in the open market so uh, algo baba algo mojo pt everything we can do with uh, 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 trade run everything you can if you are, if you know the rules you can go and feed the rules into the system they can uh, trade on behalf of uh, yourself it is possible 
see this algo writing your own algo building your own, our own algo you should do only for two reasons okay number one your capital size is huge and that is the reason why you will get a lot of slippages right and and you need a uh, the real time that's a tst right so uh, that kind of uh, uh, software you need so for which you need a special software number one and number two if you are have handling multiple accounts right so the the third party software whatever we have in creator on or any any software you know open market right so it is not super efficient to handle multiple clients because they are treating each client as a separate person so for myself actually all subscribed account actually it comes under my capital zone so it is going to be only one package so the reason why i'm, why I'm saying is uh, let me go a little bit techy okay so uh, with the third party right so if they will treat every client as a separate thread so for every client they will start a separate thread in the machine so each thread will run for each client so if i have 60 clients they will be starting 60 uh, thread which is going to be very very slow and uh, the sync issue will be there a lot of problems will be there when you run multiple clients in third party because third party will concentrate on retail people for only one client they will not they are not going to sell the products for multiple clients because there is not there are not much customers if, if they want to sell it this product right if they want to sell to the retail people only one person it is easy to sell if you are saying actually this software will take care of multiple clients then many people will not buy right so if you want to handle multiple clients or if you have a huge capital then go for a own otherwise you don't need to go for a own for your own code at all there are n number of software which is throw away price you can go and then use it correct so just for people for example who want to subscribe to such a service uh, i i believe this is like a software as a service the algo is being provided as a software as a service and it is technically that person only trading uh, what are the options like there like because you know you mentioned a few names uh, but how do you think for example somebody has some risk capital they want to try and run a particular strategy through some of the algo providers i don't think there is that much clarity on who are the reliable uh, people who are not so any websites uh, uh, that you would say are worth checking out looking at and to be very honest i haven't executed a single trade with the third party but what i'm hearing is uh, tradetron algo baba algo mojo there are a lot of vendors actually I, i i don't know the names but i haven't tried uh you can go and check it there is a demo version available for two weeks of time you can take it uh, from there actually you can take a call but small capital uh you can go with the third party because the slippage is less i mean you have a huge capital the algo, third party algo is not efficient to take care of the slippage okay okay the, the time is also it will be issue so when you trade for the party cs your timing should be accurate when you send order when you send the order it should go within a one second if it goes after 30 seconds or 40 seconds then it is going to be a huge loss okay, so you the time efficiency is for a bigger capital if you are trading with less than 25 lakhs then i would say that actually go for 1241 you can try a lot of things a lot of vendors okay. are available the 15 days period uh, trial period is there you can give a try okay now that we are talking about uh, you know the algo based services i just want to go on a tangent here Uh, sebi is you know contemplating on bringing some amount of regulations to uh, who can provide the algorithmic services and all that so let's say sebi comes up with some amount of regulations so how would uh, your services get affected and how would uh, all these platforms like uh, tradetron algo mojo and all that how are these people going to get affected so first of all actually whatever the sebi has given is only the paper uh, model so it is it is only in the discussion it is not actually uh, actual uh, circular uh second thing i don't think so it is possible to stop because even they are stopping the api level so uh, there are some way actually through uh, through http request without it possible to place order so that sebi cannot stop it number one second one actually so virtual trading is also possible i can open a chrome through program and then through kite or whatever the nest or now i can open through program and i can press f1 or f2 so it is very difficult to find out actually whether the cf1 or f2 is done through uh, coding or f1 f2 is done through manual it is not possible to distinguish through uh, <laughs> it is not possible at all so this is part, so, so as a programmer right so i know much much better than the api part so i had done a lot of coding work lot of hooking work at right? this is called hooking had done so i don't think so sebi will be able to stop this one so that's what my take that the maximum what they can do they can stop the api but 
stopping the api will not stop the algo at all because algo is a big thing api is part of it i think i think one takeaway here for everyone should be uh, look at how uh, mr jagan is speaking that so whenever sebi has done anything to push him he has accepted it with open arms <laughs> saying okay come give and uh, i think this is testament to show how you have overcome how many hardships in life to get here because you're like okay some new rule is coming in we will find a work around no problem and uh, i think that attitude goes a long way in, in everything uh, I, i mean this is so evident you know i i saw your uh, post also i was actually very angry when leverage was taken away but i i saw your post and you were like uh what is there <laughs> now this is the new rule we adapt and we move forward so wonderful yes if you remember i had made a video on jagan because like all the traders okay including all the big names and all that like people were all in um, uh, support of that no trading day yeah and jagan casually tweeted no this the margin rule and all that i don't think it should affect me like i'm very cool about it i'm going to trade and then i got a little annoyed and I'm like okay why is this guy trade doing like that so because since he's um, he has come to popularity because of because of retailers and all that i thought okay it is time for you to you know st- stand up for retailers and all that so i had made a video so before this podcast started recording i was having a chat with jagan i told him have you watched it and jagan is like no i haven't watched it i'm like okay thank god <laughs> <laughs> but there so, are a lot of things so the, the, yeah yeah sorry. the leverage part and also part uh, uh, the things you know but there are a lot of things which are uh, uh, which uh, which was against me introduced by sebi sebi lot of things okay so before 2018 there was a span margin okay so you need to pay only after margin then sebi some, some more found that actually people are exploiting this okay then they said okay so you can you can assume that actually is a leverage for positional so you need to pay only after margin then sebi said actually no exposure margin cannot be given to the uh, client so they need to pay the full margin so my return was down but what what shall i do i can't do anything so okay so let me move on. then they said actually the margin they are the long term options right so we we used to sell long term option like the huge premium and then invest into mutual fund and trying to convert uh, this uh, speculation income as a investment income so that we will get a tax tax benefit at all so that also i am i am trying so then sebi said oh okay this this is how they are trying to convert the convert the speculative in- i mean the actual trading income to the investment income say for example uh, you are playing with long term the margin to sell option is 1 lakh if you are selling long term option then you collect 10 lakhs you are using the margin is 1 lakh and you are collecting a premium of 10 lakhs 10 lakhs okay this 10 lakhs you 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 go and put it into some investment this 10 lakhs will give a non taxable income because there was no long term capital gain during that time okay correct <laughs> so you are getting this this non taxable income from this one at 10 lakhs okay but anyway you will make little loss in the taxable Uh, taxable income uh, in trading that is fine so this city somehow found that actually okay people are making money this one so for long term option you need to pay only cash then they increase the mar- uh, they increase the margin as well they put additional uh, margin as well then what shall we do so we move on okay then the haircut also they introduce higher haircut for the stock what shall we do we move on okay, so lot of things they said introduce i think almost 10 or 12 things actually which got affected Uh, which affected myself which affected me uh, whatever the sebi rule but what to do actually we should move on right so i got uh-huh. used to it maybe the exposure one actually it is uh, i it is very close to the retail people right so but i got used to this all these problems yeah <laughs> Uh, Jagan, uh, getting used to all these bureaucratic hurdles—that's one thing. But personally, do you think it's progressive? Because SEBI keeps on bringing some rules which absolutely make no sense, right? Like, I, as as and all, we are already paying the three times margin than the global standards. Over and that, over over and above, the intraday margins are removed, the haircuts are increased. Okay, they they're all doing it under the pretext of you know saving the retailers and you know reducing the speculation and all that. What do you personally think? Um, is it in the beneficial of uh, ben- uh, you know is it, if it is it in the benefit of people or it's just the facade uh the thing is actually uh, sebi card process is there are two 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 card process okay one is for this much investment volume this much speculation only happen, can happen there is a ratio say for example 1 crore in, uh, volume is happening in investment uh, maybe 3 crore is the volume can happen in a speculation that is the industry standard international standard 
this international standard is not working for india because the speculation is very high in india you got the point right when compared to the investment the speculation is very very high so sebi want to control number one number two sebi thought process is uh, uh, somebody can lose but they should not lose in one day okay so by giving a leverage there are some people actually who are getting wiped out in one day and second thing is actually this leverage was given by broker in inappropriate way unethical way because you are investing you are you are putting your money in a trading account i am also putting in a, a trading account and you are not taking leverage i am taking a leverage broker is giving your money to myself to take care of this leverage see all these problems are started coming that is the reason why sebi thought that actually let's remove it so in a way i would say that once this leverage is removed i truly understand that many people got affected even myself but if the leverage is given when the leverage was there lot of lot of brokers went bankrupt i can see, i i i have seen lot of brokers went bankrupt and brokers being bankrupt is also it's okay but the people who had invested with the brokers also uh, they, they also lost the money so that problem is gone right now in a way it affected many people that is i truly understand at the same time without leverage it is not possible to make a loss in one day other with the leverage it is possible to lose all the money in one day <laughs> but now right now it is not possible so i would say that <clears throat> some way it had helped but people who are using the leverage actually will get affected we i think that argument is done and dusted i think one thing we have to all accept is at the end of the day what the regulator does it does they don't care about what <laughs> anyone has to say so that argument is uh, you know it's just wasted but i want to know uh, something uh, jagan sir it is uh, so you spoke about boundaries right so you spoke about strategies and they have boundaries and they cannot be scaled to any extent um just want to know to what extent do you see scalability for yourself because your capital base is growing it's constantly going up and as as you you know um are working on making it better i'm sure it's just a matter of time before it scales to that boundary level so what is your opinion in terms of would you then be diversifying into other kind of strategies is there something you're testing and uh, secondly i also want to know about uh, you previously had investments in stocks but if i'm not wrong what you did was you liquidated all of your stocks with the idea that you will use the futures market to uh, um, act as an investment almost like a momentum based investment so can you give us a little bit of a look into that uh, perspective also yeah sure 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 see uh, i said right so any system will have a boundary so how do you define the boundaries it's important right so 920 strategy so how much capital i can put you have a trend following system how much capital you can put short strangle how much capital you can put if you are a system trader it is easy to bound raise because you are back tested your system you know how much return will you okay so the back tested system is giving 100 rupees and if you are getting 70 rupees in long run you are okay okay so according to the back test whatever the results you are getting after the trade also you are going to verify whether it is getting the profit and loss as per the back test so if you are able to capture 70% of the back testing report the real time report it's okay if you are getting less than 70% then you should look for a different system so that is the boundary i have so right now my system is coming to close to 70% so that is the reason why i am looking for some other system <laughs> wonderful excellent so result based a result based so you never know right now. sometimes the market dynamics would have changed before that it was accepting 10 cr right now it is not accepting 10 cr right now the the market may be accepting more volume so you never know when the the boundaries may increase or decrease the measurement what i have is the 70% of the back testing result you are getting so good to go with that boundaries if you are getting less than 70% you should stop it or you should diversify with more so that is the boundaries number 2 what is my take on investment so first of all i am not so good at investment okay uh, i am good only at mathematics so i don't look at the news i don't look at the fundamentals i'm really i don't know what is balance sheet at all so so what i thought that actually uh, somehow we should invest into the market because the people who are wealthy in the world most people are invested so i thought that actually we can invest so i started investing into the market 
with the momentum stocks so which are touching the all time high okay so whichever the stocks which are going all time high then let's invest and then uh, sell a call option that's going to be the uh, big buy covered call so covered call and and going to get a rental out of it then we can make money i was getting comfortable money and how i had a bad uh, super duper time with the trading i had a super duper worst time with uh, uh, investment wherein as soon as i invested uh, market crash <laughs> from the corona market okay so i had complete opposite uh, uh, luck okay so i was to totally unlucky with investment so when market started coming down what i did i started selling a call aggressively then i started shorting the market trying to manage and everything i was able to do but over a period of time right so once i come to the point i came to know that selling call will work but it is not optimal solution in indian market in indian market you make money by selling a put you don't make much profit by selling a call and if i look my all my trade in the 7 years i made loss only in a call not in a put because india is a, uh, a developing country where in most of the time the market goes up so you don't need so much technical to say that market is bullish okay if we say market is and 70% of the time you are going to be right in india okay. so always say market is bullish okay. okay so by probability it may be 50% but by reality 70% market is bullish okay so so selling call is working i was making profit the profit is coming not because of selling call by adjustment by my adjustment okay then i thought that again you are getting profit in a call options not because of selling a call it is not rental income it's because of your adjustment so you should think then when i analyze the market okay then i thought that it is not better to sell a call option you should run this profit so next question is when you run the profit what if it goes down then you should dive into trend following moreover when you do the covered call right the covered call the worst part of but your loss is on this side which i don't like then i thought that okay let's crack this trend following system what is the best thing and i would say that actually to find a positional trend following system in nft with the higher time frame is nothing is a piece of cake if you look at the chart most of the time you will find out okay. then i started looking into ami broker i started reading lot of books so let's find this trend following system how it works and especially for indian market then i found the breakout model wherein i started following the trend once i started following the trend i thought that again never ever sell a call because you will sell a call 50 rupees one time you will make profit another time this 50 rupees will go to 500 Okay. then you should manage all these things it's not possible so do only trend following system nothing else then i started i mean i what i did i liquidated all my stocks i'm going only with the nifty futures my back testing system had a drawdown of 13% as per 10 years and it is beating buy and hold if you are investing into nifty bees or cash market the draw the, the dd is the drawdown is 60% with the trend following system it is only 13% so which is better trend following system is better so i back tested for 10 years each candle i went through the kind of conviction i am getting in trend following i don't watch it my team members see doesn't know much, much about the market see just see the signal and say to me jagan go long i will exit that's it nothing else so that's what i do with the trend following system excellent but jagan uh, since uh, you are comparing you know futures trend following trading along with you know the cash investment whatever that is investing in nifty bees or something there is an additional advantage of investing in nifty bees because nifty bees or bank bees they can be used to you know um, they can be collateralized and then some margin can be obtained which can be used to do some intraday trading right so you said that the drawdown is 13% here and the drawdown is 60% here so can we weigh them both on the same scale yes because we can weigh because the reason is say for example i am going long for 900 quantities right now the reason is 900 quantities it is equal to 1.5 crores of cash market but the margin i am going to spend it is only 25 lakh okay so remaining 1.25 crores is uh, i i did this 1.25 crores you can always do it for intraday and by the way if i'm not wrong you're only trend following long only strategy right you're not uh, okay. shorting the market in the trend following way indian market i don't think so for positional one I mean, shorting the market is a suicide. Yeah, very true. Most I think. Of the time, 
shorting the market is a suicide. Unless otherwise there is a corona fall or 2008 crash, actually you are not going to make profit at all. And whenever, I mean, even you check with the 920 straddle, whenever the put option stop loss is hit, you should try aggressively. Because whenever the market is falling, the, the recovery is fast. Okay. Whenever the market goes up, it doesn't, I mean, I'm saying about intra okay? it doesn't come that much. The V-shape recovery is very much possible only in a short term. In upside, it doesn't do the V-shape recovery much. You go and check the history. Not only in intraday, in position also. In push, even there was a fall right now, right? 16.4. As soon as it goes to 16.4 or 16.5, look at the jump it has. Immediate jump, right? So it is very, very difficult to capture the short with respect to the position. If you want to make profit in a short, you should go minimum less than 15, uh, 15 uh, minutes time frame, then only you will get a short. Even with the short, you should trial it very, very aggressively. That is my take. So my trend following system, it is based on 55 minutes and it is only long only system. Excellent. So Jagan sir, I want to uh, ask you, where do you see yourself? Uh, you know, uh, right now, first of all, congratulations on the new office. Uh, we saw some of the pictures that looks beautiful. Uh, it's a huge step. Congratulations. Uh, what are your goals as a trader? Like, where do you see yourself going? And uh, right now you've automated a lot of your execution. So you're spending most of your time finding new strategies and stuff like that. What is your ideal scenario five years, 10 years down the line? Uh, when I entered into 2014, right, so I was talking to a lot of traders. Okay, so uh, during that time, I don't know what is long and short. I used to say that actually I buy, I sell options. That's what I say. I don't know the term long and short, but I was making profit for few months of time. And everyone was uh, making fun of me. And I said, actually, I was going to manage the hunters here. And everybody, uh, everybody, lo uh, almost everybody lost it. So right now I'm managing 40 years. My goal was to manage the hunters here. So that was the goal. And soon I'm going to get it. That is number one. And second thing, actually, uh, the reason why I came to option selling just because of the big boy thought process. The big boy thought process, you should get more passive income. So I am going to concentrate more on passive. So before that, I get a guilty feel actually. Again, you 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 are you came to stock market for passive income, but what you are doing is a trading is active income. But somehow now we are into algo, algo is a passive income. So now we can say that trading is also passive income. You are not actively doing it, right? So somebody is do, doing on behalf of you. So I'm going to explore a little bit on investment, not not immediately, maybe after one year of time or two years of time. Uh, because once the capital size is increasing, there is, as I said, actually there is a boundary for everything. So I can't do 100 CR, I mean, 1000 CR, 10,000 CR in a trading. Then I should look for a HFT or some other opportunity. So I'm going to put my uh, uh, hands in investment as well. So maybe the trend following system and everything is going to be quant based. And being a mathematician, I, what I know only the number game. I don't know anything else. So that's what I'm going to do. The investment part actually I'm going to touch maybe after a year. So I'm going to concentrate more on passive income. So that's my goal. Uh, that my that, that's going to be my thought process. Jagan sir, one personal question. I'm a big believer of, you know, having a well-balanced overall life. So since you started handling clients' money, since you started running uh, uh, some trading systems for your clients, uh, what do you think has your stress levels gone up? So how are you? Are you having a relaxed approach? So because let's say, uh, agree or not, when people see that, okay, I've taken a 2% stop loss or a 3% stop loss, it's normal for someone to just call you up and say, hey, what went wrong today and all that. So um, how does, you know, the dealing with the clients mm, have an impact on your life? I mean, I don't think so. Actually, I had such impact uh, in my life because actually so far, actually, I haven't made big loss uh, to the client. Even I haven't made any loss to the client. Uh, that, that may be the one uh, confidence. Second thing is I don't talk to any client. Right? So I, I mean, everything is routed through my office. So we are very sure that actually what is the risk is. Okay, so we keep in informing the clients. Though we are making profit, every month we are making profit. Whenever we make profit, we send a broadcast message. Okay, so the risk may have can happen at any time, twenty percent. Okay, so I'm not a god to make profit always. The twenty percent drawdown it may happen at time. Again, you made only eight percent drawdown in your life. Why are you saying twenty percent? No, twenty percent is possible as per the back test. So be prepared for it. So you need to keep sending these broadcast messages. Let the client, let the people, let the students know that actually there is a risk associated with the trading, though you are making profit. This 
I was constant, constantly doing uh, with all my students, with all my clients, with all my subordinate peers, everything. So that might be the reason. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. Now, I mean, to be honest, like you covered so much good stuff here. Uh, but uh, to people starting out uh, now, sir, like people, the same journey that you started a long time back, uh, to people who are just starting out now in the market, uh, would you tell them that, um, you know, getting straight into algo trading is probably a better way, system trading is going to be a better way, or um, like, is it okay for people to like do discretionary trades? Like, where do you see the future, like in our market itself? Uh, do you think that um, discretionary trading eventually will just go to zero and all of it will be algo based and everyone is going to be running system? Uh, do you have any thoughts around that? I would say that actually both will work. That is my thought process because I have been doing this discretionary trading for six years. Now I have been, uh, I have been doing only the system trading. Uh, uh, but I don't think so. The discretionary trading will, will be there. Uh, definitely in option selling it is... Uh, but I would say that most of the discretionary trader are system trader because most of the discretion they do based on the MTM. So, so they look at the MTM and then react. Even you take myself, if I get 1% loss, then I do adjust. This MTM is based on your price. Yeah. Correct, right? And you are reacting to the price. You are almost reaction to the price line. So I would say that most of the people are discretionary. There is a, there is a difference between impulsive trading and uh, discretionary trading impulsive trading you get a feel and then you go and trade take a long or short discretionary trading you get kind of mtm loss you have some level so you have follow some system i hope that system will work for sure for longer run that depends on each one so you are going to dive into both discretionary trading and system trading whichever it is working you can go ahead for myself actually both work for me but system trading, I can scale up. I will get a lot of time. It is going to be passive. You can delegate. You can work on some other system. There are a lot of benefits with the system uh, trading, but which is missing with the discretionary trade. Um, Jagan, sir, I think it has been a fantastic podcast. I mean, our viewers have got a lot of things to learn. And uh, so as a new entrant in the market, so you already said that 920 straddle is like the LKG of the strategy. So if you cannot with discipline follow this 920 straddle then probably you're not cut out for trading so um what do you suggest that how what should be the approach of a new entrant in building a system because building a system is not uh not an easy task right you have to first know that know your risk appetite know your perception of the market know your belief systems and all that but how a new entrant can start with system building what are your thoughts on it Okay, so I'll tell the both the sides. Okay, number one, actually, uh, with respect to the uh, system trading, I'll tell what should be done. With respect to the uh, discretionary option trading, what you should do. Okay, number one, with respect to the system, you should backtest your system for 10 years if you have the data. Say, for example, with the futures, you have the 10 years data. I think more than 10 years we have the data, you can backtest. Uh, that is number one. If you, have op, if you are playing with options, we have five years data, you are going to back test for five years. So you will come to know whatever the thought process you have, right? Whether it is working or not. Because I was under assumption that actually, okay, this is this is how I have seen the market, okay? If I take this rule, this will give a fantastic money. That is a thought process I had. But when I really tested, it doesn't give profit. So if you don't do the back testing, you have a very strong conviction that actually it worked because this strong conviction is coming uh, in the last short, in the last period, maybe the short period of time, you're watching the market for one month of time, then you think that, okay, 20 moving average is really working. So if you are going long above 20 moving average, it is working. So this kind of thought process you will get, but if you back us, you will come to know what is the reality. Okay. Number one, you should <laughs> So number one, because we all, we are we are all coming under this wishful thinking okay so whatever we are thinking that is what it is happening that uh, because your eyes will show you what you want correct okay <laughs> your brain also will will adjust according to that right so even you put you in a jail or prison actually it is going to be struggle for one or ten or maybe for one week or ten days uh, for 11th day you are going to be happy the same way if you look at the chart look at the chart for 10 days or 11 days you feel that okay Second breakout is working. Third breakout is working. 
uh, okay in downside actually first breakout is working so this kind of thought process you will get is very common for any person okay so it may be a good rule it may not be a good rule that for which you need a backtest and you need a when you form a rule right it should be very generic okay so how do you say your rule is curve fit or generic okay so if you have very specific things say for example 2018 i will put 40 rupees as a stop loss 2016 i will put 20 rupees stop loss 2020 i will put 100 rupees stop loss if you have a very specific hardcore number right so uh, uh, hard coder number that is going to be copy each your rule should be very very generic okay so this kind of market for this kind of atr for this kind of situations this is what you are going to follow if you have a very very generic rule it is not a curve fit one and you are going to do the back testing for 10 years the system trading you can take that is number one number two in system trading you are draw down should not be higher than 20% okay i'm saying 20% also is very high okay but but 20% is okay because the historical drawdown if it shows 20% at any time it may go to 30% because the in new condition the that system may not work right so it may not work so 20% if you are getting a drawdown you should get minimum 40% so 1 is to 2 minimum okay so for for a moderate trader if you are a good trader you should do the 1 is to 3 20% drawdown if you are getting then probably you should get 60% return per annum so this is the industry standard you should have okay for any system if you are getting more than 30% loss okay then you may need to stop your trading because trading may be the right business for you it may not be the right business because investment right now it is not a right business so there is no shame in accepting that actually trading uh, trading is not for me okay so it may not be a cup of tea but there is nothing wrong in accepting it okay so i can't do the meditation so i am a kind of hyperactive person so i can't do the meditation the same way actually uh, some actually if you feel that actually you are not able to follow the rules you are not able to follow the mathematical rule you are not able to do the back testing it is better to outsource to the mutual fund or it's better to outsource to the hedge fund if you are not able to do but the thing is have a mathematical rule don't don't form a impulsive behavior the many people who are coming to the market having a impulsive behavior okay right now the market two days i had been watching the market market is bullish let me go long so these kind of you should not do this is called impulsive behavior you form any rule mathematical rule back test for 10 years what is the drawdown it should not be higher than 20 and the reward should be more than two times then you can go for uh, system trading with position size according to your drawdown so that's my take on system trading i would say that it's really tough system trading okay then coming to this option selling part right option selling part if you are doing discretionary or system trading or whatever the you you, you call it as you can make any mistakes i i used to say this option selling is being with the mother okay so small small mistake actually the mother will uh, forgive okay so you don't need to worry about it but there are some mistake you should not do in option selling i'll tell you what number one last 15 days if you are selling options or last week if you are selling options either you are going to be zero or you are going to be hero either you are going to make a huge profit or you are going to make a huge loss i used to say this in option selling you should get a profit very slowly and you should get a loss very slowly the reason is is it okay to get a quick profit or quick loss people say oh, okay na you are getting huge profit and quick profit and quick loss both are same what is the problem if you are getting slow okay the problem is if you are getting loss very very fast then you can't do the adjustment okay last 10 days if you are in the in, in the expiry if you are trying to sell options number one if there is a gap down most of the gap down or gap up most of the big volatile day if you look at it happened in the last week of the month back test last week even you look at the recent uh, volatility most of the people lost in option selling they had been making money for 6 months 9 months but they lost all the money in one month because they were taking the positions in the last week okay and that is the reason why there is a at the same time there is a edge in the last week there is a time decay you are getting going to get make loss of profit so what shall i do if you want to make your positions in the last week maybe 30% of your portfolio you can keep it in the last week otherwise better to keep it in monthly at the same time can i keep my positions in yearly no yearly if you keep your positions the decay is going to be very less okay i have back tested this one the long term options 
some year it will give profit some year it will not give profit well that is not i would say i'm not uh, uh, i i don't like that long term option very much but uh, at the same time i also don't want to go with the short term you always go with uh, monthly option that is better because monthly option there is a moderate tk there is a moderate risk yearly option very very less tk but there is a huge risk which happened the corona fall you are going to make a huge loss right weekly options every week actually you are you are going to watch the uh, uh, pure nifty if there is a 200 points gap down then you are going to blame all the prime minister of the, uh, <laughs> um, you are going to be, <laughs> and this news is unnecessary finance minister this news is unnecessary why it happened all these things are going to say all this reason okay see we I mean, you need to accept that 20% drop is any time is possible any time is possible 20% drop is any time possible even i would say 40% fall is any time possible there is some pandemic is going to happen in the stock market 20% gap down next day morning 9:15 and day after tomorrow 20% drop is possible how will you manage if you are not able to manage your position then you are not fit for a trade so number 1 this is with respect to the uh, uh, positional option trading i'm saying okay and number two you should know what is your notional value so what is the maximum risk you are taking with your option selling so uh, many people don't know what is this notional value they know what is short strangle what is greek how to do adjustment and blah 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 which is totally unnecessary the reason why i'm saying is it is very difficult to convince someone in option selling because with the future you can convince the people with the risk management because every time they are going to hit and we are going to take a stop loss then they ah, yeah, yeah, loss is there but when somebody is selling options say that there is a risk they say that every time i am selling i am getting profit only right so why are you saying there is a risk so people will not understand because people are having this short term gratification they know that actually there is no risk at all so there is a problem in our brain okay? so anything that happens for one day your brain will understand that actually it is going to happen for a week of time okay? anything that happens for a week of time If the brain will understand that, that, that it is going to happen for a month of time. Anything that happens for a month of time, the brain will understand that it is going to happen for a year. So this is what you are going to do. I have seen the, I mean, the, the same thought process I have. So historically, for three years, I had seen the market. 400 points gap down. Never ever happen in Bank Nifty. It is good to sell options 500 points away away in Bank Nifty. Now you look at how many times, how many times the Bank Nifty is Fell more than thousand two hundred point, thousand five hundred points in a trade. So history may be repeated, or history may be created. It can happen. Anything can happen. So you should be ready for your notional. What is your notional value? So the notional value you should know, and you should do only the risk defense strategy. And to be very honest, let me be brutally honest. If you are making a profit by selling next option, uh, it is not because of the talent. It is because only because the time decay. Okay, you don't need to be super duper brilliant to make profit in option selling. That is a well-known truth. Okay, and if you are shifting to the risk defense strategy, it is going to be really hard to make a profit. Yes, because the buy options it is going to eat, and somehow you should shift to the risk defense strategy. That is money. okay. Jagan sir, actually, I am making only naked option selling. I am making six percent return, ten percent return every month. What is wrong in it? Yes, you can do, but keep in mind that if you have one crore, you should put only twenty five lakhs because this twenty five lakhs. may get wiped out any time you are selling option naked option any time it may get wiped out so if you are selling option 25% of your wealth if you are putting into the market then you go for a naked selling you you should make 6% per month because the risk you are taking is a huge risk the capital is the risk so with 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 25 with the naked selling if you are making 25% per annum that it is not really worth getting my point right 100% but risk defense strategy yeah If your risk defense strategy, if you are making twenty five percent per annum, it is worth taking. But the net reselling, I would say that you should make minimum fifty percent return because the risk you are associated with net reselling is huge. It, you may not see this risk in ten years of time, but you may see either you will see or your son will see or your grandson will see. It is coming. It is there. It is a time bomb. <laughs> so any time it may happen. So my take is net reselling. You want to do anything in weekly or monthly? Twenty-five percent of your capital you can put in equity selling, and you should be able to bring your capital. You should not worry if the capital is wiped out. You should be able to bring the capital again if the capital is wiped out. <laughs> if you if you can't afford 
to lose the entire capital then go for a risk defense strategy in risk defense strategy make sure that actually your option selling positions right the people say actually uh, 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 the risk management important and the position sizing is important all these things important they will say but i would say no because the root cause is actually your return expectation okay the return expectation what you have will reflect in your money management and risk management if your return expectation is, is very high automatically you will go and sell the option very close to the spot so if okay. your return expectation is very decent uh, 3% per month automatically go for otm and you will do the position sizing accordingly your money management also will automatically design in such a way that you will not lose more so you need to have a return expectation i would say this so what is the difference between retail people and big boy people say people say that actually uh, jagan sir big boys are making profit because they have a huge capital and that is the reason why they are making profit next i will ask this question okay if you are giving 5 lakhs to the big boy and ask him given uh, uh, give one account to the big boy will he make a profit yes then how do you say that actually big money is playing the uh, big money is the reason actually to make profit then say that they have the knowledge then you should you, you can also have that knowledge now what is the problem okay then they think that oh okay so the big boy is having a skill that is the reason why he is making money actually speaking it is not the skill okay not only in any places okay any business or anything you take the the skill set is very very so the point here is that the risk the difference between a big boy and retail is the return expectation the retail people are having a huge expectation based on their financial needs okay based exactly. on their finance so they are having rental they, they need to pay the tuition fees they need to pay the school fees they have they have a loan home loan and that's where every expectation they are pushing into the market and taking a positions according to the return expectation see when somebody is punching the order in the trading terminal right so the trading terminal will not understand whether it's a big buy or retail people for for trading terminal for nsc actually it is a buy order or sell order it doesn't distinguish whether you are a big buy or retail okay so what distinguish whether you is a profitable trader or, or retail uh, or uh, what distinguish whether you are a retail people or uh, big boy the only difference is the mindset the return expectation what you have so if you have a 1 lakh capital and you are expecting uh, 2000 or 3000 per month it is possible you are a big boy because your return expectation is very decent at the same time you are having 1 crore capital and your return expectation is 10 lakhs per month then you are a retail so it is not the capital which defines whether you are retail people or big boy it is the return expectation which defines whether you are retail or big boy got it right absolutely yes. it's not Super. skill but it's more of a behavioral aspect itself i used to say that this attitude okay in fact i had seen a lot of things okay so when you have a bigger capital it is very difficult to make profit because you get a lot of lot of huge slippage yeah. you don't get a lot of opportunity at all, at all. lot of system you cannot execute with the bigger capital as i said the arbitrary opportunity that you can't do with the bigger capital at all in fact retail people are having the edge but the problem is most of the time as so a retail people right and so they need to they will not accept their mistake now. that is the key point okay so they need to blame someone actually that actually uh, for the failure and that is the reason why they are uh, losing it so as a retail people if you are coming to option selling you should make sure that as a retail people so you should make sure that your mindset is like a big boy when i came to market i had only 3 lakhs capital my return expectation you will not believe me only 6000 rupees per month because because i am coming from a different school of thought from the uh, uh, big boy or uh, uh, i mean rich dad poor dad where my return expectation was jagan 2% per month even with the 100 cr 2% per month that is the return expectation <laughs> go and set the options accordingly you will get it okay so so re- now retail people will say now nah, with one lakh actually how i am able to manage uh, 2000 rupees per month how i am able to manage my family needs see your stock market will not understand your family needs stock market is ready to give roi based on the capital if you need more return actually you should bring more capital you should understand otherwise your capital will be wiped out okay so if you have like capital maybe you can try with usdi or if you have maybe 5 lakhs you can trade with the nifty or bank nifty so based on your capital you can switch so the capital is not deciding your mindset you are deciding your mindset okay, okay. so have the return expectation properly accordingly you go for a strategies and make sure that actually you are going to be in the last week 
and make sure that actually you are not doing any big any trading on big event positional one positional one because the black swan event most of the time it is going to happen only during the mega event so 90% of the time actually the event is the black swan is coming also black swan event is always associated with the big event for mega event don't trade and last week don't trade and have a written expectation i would say if you are making loss you are going to be unlucky with all these rules you are going to be totally unlucky <laughs> Superb. I think oh, that's, that's so many truth bombs, so many uh, real things. <laughs> Last five minutes was pure gold, dude. No, yes. uh, really, completely. I mean, I think if people should rewind and watch that part again. So true. Exactly Every, my thought. <laughs> yeah. A- everything from how, you know, if you're doing naked positional, I think nobody says that positional option, option sellers. You have to generate that big return because you're taking that risk, right? That time bomb risk. So maybe in one or two years, if you can at least pull out whatever capital you put, then you can at least say that, okay, no problem. Now I will lose. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Superb. Say, for example, you're working in Chennai. You're getting 50,000 salary, okay? And then uh, you're going to the place where Ukraine, okay? So, or Afghanistan, right? For 51K, you should not go. You should go at least for 5 lakhs. There is a risk associated with the place, right? So, so don't go. <laughs> you are going to Somalia, then you should say like, you know, I need my <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. On point. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. This was uh, truly like one of the best discussions I've had with uh, anyone. It is a true pleasure to have you with us. And... Uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to like having conversations you uh, with you further as well. I'm really um, super excited to see how your system develops because I, I, you're constantly improving it. And in our conversation, you spoke about how even today, if you trade discretionarily, you will make more money than with your algo. But discretionary trading is not that scalable, which is why you want to transition there. So even though you don't, you can generate an alpha if you were to manually trade. You're still constantly improving that side. I'm very excited to see how that turns out. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Jagan, sir, it was a fantastic session. I think our audience has got a lot of nuggets to take away from this podcast. And thanks yeah. for yeah. taking your time having this conversation. And yeah. just like Shreyas, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to have more conversations with you. And thanks yeah. for coming here. Yeah. 